He survived one of the most daring raids in American military history. And this here is Among Us. We'll revisit the story of World War II veteran Dominic Diadamo. The Richmonder who lived through dozens of dangerous missions over Europe died last week at the age of 101. This morning we listen again to my conversation with this hero of the skies. I was always interested in airplanes and I thought I could be a pilot. He hasn't flown professionally in more than 75 years. That's my favorite aircraft. See how pretty it is? But Dominic Diadamo still admires the wild blue yonder. The job was so important to me, and I just wanted to make sure that I did it right. The 100-year-old Richmonder who grew up on Hanover Avenue. Well, these are my two brothers, and that's me. This is my mother. Earned his wings the most white-knuckle way possible. My job was uh, dropping the bombs. As a bombardier. Up front here, right in the nose. Mr. Diadamo had a front row seat in a B-24 Liberator. But we had fighter planes coming at us. You could see the tracer bullets from. <laughs> Plexiglass is all that separated the 22-year-old from the enemy. And I never saw so much flack in all my life. And it knocked out two or three panels on the nose where I was. <laughs> Close calls were routine in the 389th bomber group over Europe. So was watching other bombers fall out of the sky. I saw my first plane go down in flames, you know. And that kind of upset me on my, on my first mission. Well, I just couldn't believe it. We saw a few parachutes come out, but that was all. Captain Diadamo flew 22 missions during the war. None more harrowing than the infamous Ploesti raid. The, the chimneys were 212 feet tall, so they wanted us to go in at 250 feet, so we wouldn't hit those. 177 B-24s roared over Romania on August 1st, 1943. The target, massive refineries. Well, that was Hitler's main source of oil. Every pilot ordered to fly at dangerous altitudes. We could feel it sometimes scraping the trees, you know. We got so low. We were so close to the ground, we could see people's expression on their faces. When the bombing run was over, more than 50 B-24s and about 500 of Mr. Diadamo's fellow airmen were lost. It hit us hard. Anytime you lost a crew, it hit you hard. But that's the way it went. You left, you didn't know whether you were coming back or not. It finally didn't bother you, it didn't, it didn't make any difference. He lived through one of World War II's most daring missions. That's me, we were flying, uh, flying through the Strait of Gibraltar. Now, this bombardier is one of the last living survivors. It made the news pretty good, and some people still talk about it. Hello. Fine, fine, thank you. This Veterans Day, people are not forgetting his sacrifice. And I thank you. Well, thank you, sir. It's very generous to do this. Well, it's your day. His hospice sir. nurses pay tribute. And I appreciate it. We appreciate you. To a humble and grateful man, Dominic Diadamo. This is me. An airman still soaring high at 100. I don't call it luck. I think I was blessed. For some reason, I, I was blessed. Well, I, I've been blessed all my life, really. I've had a wonderful life. Mr. Diadamo died last week at the age of 101. Mr. Diadamo lived in the same house on Hanover Avenue in Richmond he bought with his late wife, Shirley, in 1950. Mr. Diadamo is buried at Mount Calvary Cemetery, and I'll never forget that conversation.